Welcome once again to another episode of What's New in Cabinet Vision Solid 2012 Release 1. I am Andrew Reby, and I will be explaining some of the new features and enhancements that we made to Cabinet Vision. In this episode, we will be talking about, well, pretty much the rest of the stuff that wasn't covered in any of the other episodes, like the changes to job properties, layers, layout, parts, and the report center. To start off, I want to talk about a new layout feature. From within a job, we need to go to the Preferences dialog. Now we need to just go to the Layout tab. And here you can see the new feature. It's two features actually, but since they are in the same place, I figured I would mention them together. The end of wall clearance allows you to specify the distance from the end of a wall that an object will snap to when you place it near the end of the wall. While the end wall clearance allows you to specify the distance from an end wall, you know, the green wall that you can place in Cabinet Vision, that an object will snap to when you place it near an end wall. The next enhancement that I would like to talk about is the ability to display drawer annotations in the plan view of Cabinet Vision. So what we have here is a simple job. You should notice these little lines here. They represent a drawer for all of these cabinets. Every line in front of an object represents a drawer. Let's take, take a moment to see the options we have for this. Okay, you can see here that I've gone to the annotations layer options and I can see our new option set here. Show object drawers is the option that you will use to actually display those lines I showed you. Offset allows you to set the beginning offset from the object where the first line will be drawn. And finally, increment defines the distance between each line. Now, we have an increment because there will be a line drawn for each drawer that exists in your object. Moving back to the plan view, let's take a look at a new simple enhancement that we added to the elevation view. Okay, what we did here was pretty simple, but very helpful. When you right click on the walls, you now have the option to send to drawing and live drawing. Previously in Cabinet Vision, you had to right click on an area in your workspace that had no objects to do this not good if you zoomed in really close to a wall. This next enhancement I want to show you will be most easily illustrated in the part view, so I've gone ahead and moved us there. Now you can see here that I have a miter on the front, actually left, edge of this part. Let me move it to the top view to get a better look. Great. Now from here it doesn't look like much, but if I zoom in right here, you can see that there is a part that runs along my miter. This is the edge banding that my part is supposed to have. To easily set a mitered edge, you just go to the shape editor and select an element that represents the edge you want to miter and change the miter angle value here. Finally, I want to talk about the report center. I'm in it right now, but you don't see a report. Well, that's not a problem with the video or with cabinet vision. Nope we made it so that when you enter the report center now it won't display any reports until you click on one here. This will speed up the initial loading of the report center. Thank you for taking the time to view this demonstration. If you would like more information on Cabinet Vision Solid please feel free to visit the Cabinet Vision website at www.cabinetvision.com. For those of you viewing this video from eSupport you can click on the hyperlink in this video to go there now.